Hey there everyone, how you doing? My name is Nick and this is your Indie Gamer News for February 12th, 2016. So this episode is a little bit different than the other ones I've been doing. This one is kind of uh, an all nostalgia-thon kind of episode. Every single game that I'm going to talk about today reminds me a lot of games I played when I was younger that I absolutely loved. And the other thing about these games that I'm about to talk about is you can't buy any of them right now. They're all projects in development. And I would like you to support each one of these projects. I feel like such a shill sometimes, except I don't get paid for this. So a few years ago I had a channel called Last Exile Zero. It was slightly popular. Uh, it has since gone because of a bunch of garbage I don't want to get into. But the game that made me super popular on that channel, well, relatively speaking, was Super Meat Boy. I love Super Meat Boy. It's a fast-paced, twitch-based, incredibly difficult platformer by Team Meat. It was a ton of fun. I played the crap out of it. I would love to play a game that was somewhat like that with the same quality control scheme. That was the main thing about that game. The controls were tight. So I was on the Indie Games subreddit today, that's slash r slash Indie Games. And on the top, there's a teaser trailer for this game called Remnants of Nazeth. Naz Remnants of Na Na Hold on. I was right the first time. Remnants of Nazeth. It looks a lot like Super Meat Boy, but the graphics are really smooth and crisp, and they give me like this sense of going through an ancient temple and trying to find treasure or something like that. And the main hook with this game is that the main character here has a set of grappling hooks which allow you to get through the level even more stylistically than Super Meat Boy. It looks really cool. It looks kind of difficult. He's looking for donations on his page right now. His name is, hold on. His name is Tolge, and he is a student at Yildiz University. I don't know if that means anything. Maybe I should have done some research there. Anyway, here, take a look at uh, his teaser trailer. It looks pretty good. I want that. I want that game. I do. During the PlayStation 1 era, there is no game that took up more of my time than Final Fantasy Tactics. Sometimes I would just endlessly play that game trying to get every single monster on my team. I stopped somewhere during the middle of the storyline and just ignored it for like two months or something, leveling characters to their ultimates and getting the sweetest monsters like I was saying before. I just loved the battle system. That's what was so fun about that game. And Arcadian Atlas is a love letter to games like that. So, you know, Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Ogre. I mean, those are the two big ones, right? And I guess nowadays you would say like Disgaea, but I never really got into those. They're a little too goofy for me. So this is coming out by a company called Twin Otters. Their Kickstarter isn't even up yet, but I'll link you to their page so you can take a look at the details and see when the Kickstarter goes up. I think, I think it goes up in March, actually. It looks really good. You know what we do on this show. Take a look. When I was very young and I only owned like three NES games, one of those games happened to be Zelda 2. And I had never played Zelda 1, so I didn't know how bad Zelda 2 was, but I loved Zelda 2. I thought it was absolutely incredible. I was on the front page of itch.io, itch.io, I'm not sure how to say it. I should probably learn how to say that. And there is a demo for an upcoming game there called Agelos. And what it looks like to me is a very polished version of... Zelda 2, Link's Adventure. I think there's other games that were like that at the time. I think there was one that was called like Mount Olympus that was kind of like that, that was pretty fun. Anyway, it's a 2D side-scrolling action RPG. You go on quests, you find items and upgrades, 
and you level up, and it looks like this, and it looks super sweet. This is me playing some of it. And that game is by Wonder Boy Bobby and Story Bur Bird. Story Story Bird. It's hard to say Story Bird while you're holding a storyboard. Holding a storyboard. Anyway, guys, that's what I was interested in this week. Per usual, I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description below. If you want to follow up on this and support these or just check them out, subscribe to their newsletters, whatever. Oh, one last thing. Thanks a lot for all the support I got on the Darkest Dungeon video. My Darkest Dungeon review. I put a lot of work into that one. It was like 25 hours. And uh, I'm actually pretty happy with it. The only thing I wasn't happy with was the on-camera audio, which I have taken steps to correct. This right here is a Handycam Recorder H4n, and I think it's going to up the quality of these on-camera videos quite a bit. I like it. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see some more of my stuff in the future. Uh, my name is Nick. This channel is called Indie Gamer News, and I will talk to you later. Have a good one, okay? Bye. And there is a demo for an upcoming up... And there is a demo for an upcam... What the f***? Blah, blah, blah. And there is a demo for an upcoming...